What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Got cub right behind me. Yep. So, y'all, we about to get into the baddies reunion, okay? Now, first of all, before we get into this video, I want y'all to tap into the Patreon because we reacted to that video last night, and I have so many things to say, so many questions, okay? So, first of all, when it started, I love the way they pull up, you know what I'm saying? Everybody looked cute except Roly. Um, Roly came out there in a Nike outfit, Looking like it came from the Nike out. Let. All right. Um, and the reason why I say that is because why do you have on a Nike suit at the reunion? Okay. Um, that's number one. She done got this body done. She got a toothless done. And she did all that to come out there in a Nike suit. Also, let me get the video for y'all so we can go through what happened or whatever. Step by step. Okay. Now. I want y'all to know, you know, I ain't no hater. So, did they take it off? Ain't no way they took it off. Oh, it's right here. I say it's right here. I say, Hold on, y'all. Let me cut off the volume. Okay. Neek, take this part out. Oh, matter of fact, let's start off with this dude. So, this dude is the one... Who says, well, who sings the song? That's a baddie. He had the worst performance in performance history. I would just like everyone to know. Now, I had no idea that um, it was him. Bless you. I ain't gonna lie. He sound black. Uh, but that's not racist. He did sound black, um, but he's not black at all. Uh, I don't care what color he is. It was just a trash ass performance. <laughs> Whether he was black, white, uh, all that, Mexican, whatever. He did Bless you. Thank you. That performance was just super duper trash. So after that, um, obviously they showed everybody that they was in LA, California, whatever we talking about. Natalie has her um pen per usual. Uh come on, um, what's the child name? What's her name? Scotty. Scotty with a body. She was looking creep. I like her outfit. Okay. Um E.T., no, 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 Sky, she looked good, DJ Sky. I mean, she ain't had nothing but a pair of boxes on with a jacket, but whatever, she was cute. Um, Y'all know with Zeus, he pulls up presidential. You know, that's what I do like about Zeus. Um, what's her name? She, Mariah Lynn, she did come out looking cute, but she, she ended up taking it off. On. Huh? They ain't went to go put a jumpsuit on. Yeah, I don't blame her. Now, that's what I'm saying with Roly. Roly didn't even come out with something cute. She just came Nike and stayed oh, Nike. It is what it is. Um, so Natalie, you know, obviously this is sponsored by Fashion Nova, if that's not obvious enough. But Natalie and Suki sat down with Sapphire. Okay. And I love um Sapphire's hair. Her the her red hair was doing what it needed to do. That scene is so short, it won't allow me to go to where I wanted to go. Because I don't care about the fake hugs. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Sapphire's hair looked great. And this outfit, I like this outfit. They look like the Powder Puff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> they out here looking like the Powder Puff Girls. Now, this is the episode, not the episode, this is the scene where Biggie and Smiley get into it. Which, it was so random. I, I will say Biggie's voice is way deeper than it's ever been before in this episode. I don't know what that was about, but it just it was deeper than usual. Um, she got herself on a shirt, okay? And her and Smiley had a conversation. They were attempting anyway to have a conversation. And it started off good. But I think that Biggie is kind of sick of her acting like a victim and acting like uh, what's happening is not happening. All that goofy, <laughs> we're cool, we're friends. Don't nobody want me to be a friend. So I think that's what went on with that. Anyway, here's Roly talking to uh, E.T. Now, Roly Toofus is toofing, okay? Her teeth look very good. Um, also E.T.'s teeth look kind of good. She recently got her teeth done. Now, am I a fan of this damn wig, Lord? No, I'm not. Came in a turquoise suit with that wig on. It's crazy, okay? But that is what Roly decided to do. Um, T looked really good on the show. Anna looked good. 
And Scott definitely looked good. I love this um mink. This mink, okay? <laughs> She was smoking her bleasy with them shoes. I, I, I think the shoes of Valeros, Valeros, whatever. Um, as you can see, Mariah Lynn changed. She was actually fly when she changed, too. Um, and like I said, T already looked nice. Okay, so Scotty ended up coming in the room with Roly and E.T., and they was just talking about everybody per use. Uh, Scotty looked like her, her gap was coming together with this... Um, Visalign, I'm saying that because I thought she got her teeth done is why I'm saying that. But recently on her lives, you'll see that her her gap is still like there. So I don't know what she got going on, but she is not getting veneers. I just wanted to address that because her teeth look very different. Um, also, I did not like Natalie's outfit, but, you know, she going to do what she want to do. The wig was OK. It would have looked better if it wasn't pink. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Uh, Biggie and Smiley get into it. Biggie slapped a taste. When I say the taste, okay, she slapped a taste out of Smiley. Her whole issue was Smiley should have jumped in her fight, which I completely disagree because I don't feel like Biggie would have jumped in any of Smiley's situations. She didn't say jump in. She told her to slap one and she was going to slap the other. That's jumping. For, oh, oh, that ain't it jumping in. You're right. Two. Yeah. So it's a two on two. So Smiley she decided. She one and then uh, she didn't slap the other one. And I think Roly got jumped on. Yeah. Not Roly, Biggie. Smiley decided that she wasn't about to do that. So. Um, she even said something about it today that, um, it, you wasn't down for me, so I'm not going to be down for you. I don't blame her. This gives them all the reason to fight, you know, on the show and get them a storyline. So it is what it is. But I will say Biggie slapped this out of her. So after she slaps the hell out of her, Tesseki comes in the room. Let me turn this cause her boob is halfway out. Tesseki's in the room talking to Biggie and Biggie instantly changed the subject and everything got on Krishan. I feel like the whole damn reunion was halfway about Krishan. She was not there to defend herself per huge. Um, but Tesseki standing on business. Tesseki said that she promised her mom she wasn't going to be her ass. Okay. Um, and it's over for their relationship though. I don't think they're going to ever get back. I'm not going to lie. Not no time soon. Not until Krishan matures, until Taseki take a little bit of ownership or accountability accountability for what has happened in the past with them being sisters. So that's deeper than the ocean. Something we don't know about. I ain't got nothing to do with. So after that, um, Smiley over there in this room going crazy, loco, cabe. Ah, okay she was mad that they wouldn't let her out the room as you can see her hands are just as bloody as they can be um and it's because she punched the mirror that had nothing to do with what biggie did to her so right after biggie slaps her child they just sitting there comfortable like nothing happened or whatever and you know having a conversation so boom uh this child walk in like camilla camilla walks in and why she looked like she about to go work on cars i have no idea but that is what she chose to wear. So let's get into Nene. First of all, <laughs> Nene's so fake. <laughs> Nene is so fake, okay? When when I mean fake, like, you know, you can tell she don't give a damn about that. She is there to get a check, baby. She don't give a damn about none of that going on. Um, this is Lemmy's wife, for those that don't know. Uh, she, child, this was her half the show until Anna. And um, Anna and uh, what's her name? Scotty was going back and forth about her husband. But we'll get into that later. So now we finally get to the set. They doing a thing. And this is the wife. Now, her outfit was given. Okay. Whole thigh was out. Well, hell. Whole thigh and her left butt cheek, as y'all can see right there, is out. Okay. So we're going to keep going. <clears throat> this is Nene's outfit. What you say she looked like, huh? Mr. Potato Head. No. Damn. Crunch and munch. Cr I ain't say that. What's the green out? Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> he said her outfit looked like Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. I okay. thought it was cute. I just thought it was bright, but I thought it was cute. Okay, so they called everybody out kind of like um, 
group by group. Okay. Natalie and them came in first. Sky, Anna, uh, T. Look at <laughs> this fool. Look like she about to go work on the car. Biggie came out there with her shirt again. You know, they outside with it. They going through the motions of what happened on the show. Everybody talking about Smiley, Suki fighting Roly, um, just everything that happened on the show or whatever. So I want to get to the point where E.T. came in there. Oh, wait, before we even get on that, this is Tesseki talking about the Krishan situation. And I will say, I feel like she is really hurt outside of whatever hurt she done caused Krishan. I just feel like they both hurt people, hurt people, child. So um, she is really, really, really bothered at the fact that Krishan got her jumped. Also, Krishan wanted her to fight on a Mac because on a Mac said that Krishan was slow and she ended up, saying something about that Anna did and remember when Krishan approached her about it that's not how that went she was like I don't know what she's talking about I don't know no you know you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about okay she knew what she was talking about <laughs> I feel like Tesseki should have slapped her then for Krishan but probably not well Vicky she probably would have called her case um but yeah Tesseki is absolutely bothered she promised her mama she wasn't gonna put her hands on her and that's where we are with that. Now, um, Camilla and Natalie talk about how they are long-term friends now and they not beefing anymore. Anna talked about how she going, you know, fighting with uh, T. Uh, not T. Yes, T and Anna. How they, you know, had a debacle. Scotty and Anna had a debacle. So then Roly and E.T. comes in. At this point, Biggie's still ready to fight Roly, but Roly copping, please. I don't know what Roly was talking about. Roly trying to say, hold on, just wait. Biggie like, I love you. <laughs> but for some reason, they still got to fight. Okay. E.T. instantly came in and kicked Natalie chair over, girl. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. She kicked Natalie chair over with her in it. Okay. Natalie ends up on the floor. Everybody get to fighting. Sky sitting there, <laughs> not bothered. R Roly and Biggie trying to get into it still. And yeah, that's the end. After that, of course, we seen the, um, what you call it? The next episode of Tesseki teaching. Ballsy. Yeah, Tesseki teaching E.T. Let me teach you shorty. You know what I'm saying? That's what we are with that. I want to know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. You can actually watch our full reaction on Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. It's actually really good because, baby, I was shocked at a couple things, especially when they got to fighting. Um, it was a good time. So y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.